In this video, we will show you how to level your pool. This is our second year doing this, so I will show you a few things we learned from last year. I started with spraying the area with a natural weed killer, and after a little while, I also got my kids to help me remove any sticks or toys from this area since this was a sand pit and a fire pit in the off season. And with this being our second year, we already have this area marked out where the pool will go. I also recommend checking out our other video, How to Level Your Pool, in which I'll attach in the description. In that video, we go into more details on how we started our pool process. Next, I ran some line levels to see how far off we were. This is a great way to see how much you need to dig or how much sand you need to bring in. And here's how you'll use a line level. You will put a stake or a nail at one end and the line will be level with the ground. I usually make this the high ground. Then you will go to the other side and use this line level to determine the elevation change. You will move it up and down the stake until the bubble is level in the line level. And this will help you determine if you need to dig or add more sand. In this example, we are pretty close. And I like to use this first because this will help you determine the coarse or large adjustment. And just to clarify, if your line is off the ground pretty far, you will either need to dig the high side down or add sand to the low side. I also ended up running multiple lines in this area. This way you will be able to see the high and low areas and you can add sand where it's needed or dig as well. So after we got a good eye on the course adjustment, we pulled out the leveler. This is a two by four with a four foot level on it. And this is nice because our pool is 15 feet. So this will reach to the outside edges of our pool. Then we drove a piece of rebar into the end and placed it in the middle of our area also attached a string to the end so that we can walk around with it. So then you would just walk around the circle with a 2x4 and it will begin leveling out your area. So guys, what I'm doing right here, as you can see, as I go around, there's these low spots. You can just take sand. If you have some from the high side, um, you can take sand and fill it in right here. Or you can even add sand in these spots just to make sure they fill in. I did end up digging the high area out this year. Last year we only added sand which worked in the short run, but there was some shifting and adjusting as the rains came and the summer progressed. So I would recommend you trying to dig out some of your higher areas if possible. After digging out the high areas, I did go and take some sand from my kids sandbox, which they weren't too happy about, <laughs> but I promised them in return for the sand that I would give them a pool. But this is a continual process of seeing where the higher spots are and digging those area out while also putting more sand into the low areas. But after a few minutes of digging and moving sand, I feel like we got pretty close. And from my experience, that's what you're trying to do. Get as close to level as you can. I've also had a lot of people ask if this prep was necessary and I've always said yes. It will take some work and time digging out the area and prepping it, but you don't want to have to drain the pool in the middle of the summer just to do it again because it isn't level or it breaks because of the strain on the pool liner. So I recommend doing it now the best that you can. So after about an hour of spinning and leveling, we got our finished product and decided to go ahead and set up our pool. While the pool was filling up this year, I wanted to try and add some extra support. Our pool was on a decline and this is where all the water from the yard runs. So we decided to put this garden barrier around the pool, hoping that it will help divert some of the excess water from rain away from the pool. We know the water will still go underneath, but we think this will help us in heavy rains. Please let me know if you have any other further questions that I could help you out with. You can also check out another helpful pool video here, and I will see you over there. 